just like to shift our, our case study at this point. Um, we've talked about one of the biggest organisational disasters in recent history. I'd like to sort of lighten the mood a bit and talk about something more positive. In 121 days' time, the Olympic Games, the greatest show on earth, comes to, to London. And um, as part of the work that Ian and I do, we have the, the privilege of working with Olympic athletes and Olympic coaches. And one of the things that we explore, particularly with the C of our facts model, Courageous Goals, is the different mindset that people in Olympic sport appear to have around courageous goal setting compared to what we experience in organisational life. It seems to be routine for Olympic sports athletes to set themselves crazy, impossible goals um, and declare those, share those, and pursue those with their coaches. The idea of anybody um, declaring a goal to win a gold medal in the Olympics uh, in London, you know, by all the rational laws of, of analysis, it's a, it's a crazy uh, undertaking. It's something that really you wouldn't do if you, if you were just looking at it from an analytical sense. But these people do it, and their coaches help them to do it. And what we find with courageous goals is that if you move from smart goals to courageous goals, the whole arena of this support challenge uh, balance jumps to a completely different scale. Um, so for courageous goals, the level of support needs to be much, much more. But equally, the level of challenge needs to be much, much more. And some of the things that we hear Olympic coaches say to their athletes would make you cringe in terms of what they think is appropriate from a challenging perspective. But equally, we see examples of support that uh, really touch you in terms of the bond of trust that develops between those people. Uh, and one of the critical things that happens in any commitment to a courageous goal is that the coach and the coachee have to look at each other in the eye and say, are we really up for this? Are we really committed? Because if we commit to this, we know it's going to have its highs and lows, its ups and downs. We are going to have to go into the zoo maybe on a regular basis. But if we win the gold medal, then together we look back on that and be proud of that achievement. Because let's face it, there are people in history who have always said crazy things. Goals. First, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. And none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. So I hope we've challenged you to challenge more in the last half an hour. And I'd just like to finish uh, with a poem. Come to the edge. We can't. We're afraid. Come to the edge. We can't. We will fall. Come to the edge. And they came, and he pushed them, and they flew. Thank you very much. Thank you.